What is up, demigods? Today we are making a meal for our guy, who we are representing, Mr. Percy Jackson. In honor of the show coming out, I just recently reread all of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. It's only right. Let's get into it. We have four things planned today. It's gonna get a little bit wild. I'm a little nervous, but let's get into it. Our first one. Our second one. Number three. And the main ingredient is right here for number four. So you're gonna have to stay tuned to see it. All right, we have a lot of cooking to do. Let's get started. And of course, because we are cooking for Percy Jackson, everything will be blue. So the first thing we are making is blueberry pancakes. And I cannot tell you guys the last time I made blueberry pancakes. Kind of excited about it. So first we're gonna start off by washing our bloobs. Classic. Because these rings will tarnish easily and are cheap, they're coming off. Okay. Ah, okay. See you soon. I do not have a small strainer, so we're gonna make do with this. You just rinse it off. Rinse it off and it's fine. We're gonna gently pat these little guys and spread them out. So as we work on everything else, these can dry a little bit. But be gentle, because you don't want to squish any of your berries. Okay. No. Next, we are going to mix our flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt all together. One of the things with flour, one of the things. A tip for making sure you have enough flour is using a knife to kind of leaven it out. So we're gonna need one and a quarter cups of flour. And I try to limit my dishes, so we are doing a quarter cup measuring cup. And we're just gonna use it five times. What have we been thinking, or what are our thoughts on the Percy Jackson show? When I'm recording this, the finale has not come out yet, but by the time this comes out, the finale will be out very soon. <gasps> this is why I can't talk and do things. It's okay. Everyone remain calm. Every time I say that, it's mostly for myself. But what are our thoughts? I wanna keep this pretty spoiler free, but it's very interesting to me, the differences they're making between the book and the show. There's definitely some that I like, definitely some that I'm like, hmm, interesting. Let me know your thoughts. Also, who's your favorite character so far? I'm probably a little bit biased, mostly because I loved her in the books as well, but she is killing it in her role as Annabeth, played by Leah. Love her. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of baking powder. It's like, I'm gonna do one and a quarter teaspoons of sugar. I'm using a quarter teaspoon because I, we're limiting dishes, you know. Yay. And lastly, we need salt. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt in. It's 
display. All right, I need to stop saying that. Anyway, so we're gonna combine all of this now. The mini whisk makes an appearance. I probably should have used a bigger bowl than this, but I must deal with the consequences of my actions. We have our, our dry goods base. Next in a small bowl, yeah, we're gonna combine our milk and egg. And we're just gonna place this to the side. It's kind of like, how small of a bowl can I use? We're gonna find out. <gasps> we lost some, we lost a little show. Uh, oh. Sorry, you guys see that. And then we need one cup of milk. Milk doesn't really matter as much with type. You're gonna get fluffier pancakes if you use like cow's milk. I'm using oat milk because me and dairy don't get along. Oh, it's a little high, but that's okay. We're gonna combine this with our little... Okay, we're good. I was a little nervous. I'm really pushing it with the size of these bowls. I would recommend using a bigger bowl to air on the side of caution, but could be just me. While I stir in my egg and milk, we're going to heat up or melt half a tablespoon of butter while we wait. Oh, I should really use a serrated knife. Look at this. Oh, that's... Yikes. Come on. Focus. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna take a little cup, throw our little, our little guy in. Make sure you don't get any wrapper, and I have done that before. Then you have to fish it out. Okay. Cool. And we're gonna put this on low power because I don't want this to explode in the microwave. What it is i just like using small whisks small bowls i just like small things you know something about it makes it more fun oh my gosh i need this yolk to break and now we are going to mix our dry and our wet ingredients Yum. At this point, we have this nice little guy. The whisk might not have been the best choice. We're gonna to switch to a fork. Or don't repeat my mistakes, save yourself. <laughs> Pancakes are just quite easy to make. It's so nice because you can add really whatever you want to them, in this case, We'll be adding our blueberries and making them blue. You can make them savory, you can make them sweet. What is not to like? We have our nice little dough. Look how thick she is. Yeah, seems about right. Next we're gonna add our butter. My hands are somehow getting messy. It's probably because of the small bowls, so. The rings are just coming off. Again, you know it's getting serious when we're rolling up the sleeves. And next we're going to fold in our blueberries. It calls for like a quarter cup, not a quarter cup, a half cup. You can do however much you like, really. It's up to you. And make sure all of this is off. I'm just gonna eyeball it. We're just gonna toss in however much we're feeling, you know? I'm Salt Bay. I'm Bloob Bay. <laughs> I 
I need to chill out. <laughs> At the end of the day, if you can't make yourself laugh, then I don't know what you're doing. So it calls to fold in the blueberries. So I'm gonna use like a spatula because I don't want to accidentally pop these little guys. <gasps> Should I have done the dye first before this? It's too late now. It's too late. This is what we're using. Come on. Yeah. What does a girl need to do? Okay. They're gel food colors. You would not believe how hard I had to look for blue food coloring, but we're gonna see what happens. These little guys. They're kind of cute. They look like little potions. Okay, now that I've... We're just gonna fold in the blueberries and I'm gonna figure out this gel in a second. I really should have done the gel before. That's okay. Learn from my mistakes, please. I'm gonna add... We're gonna add two drops and see what happens. Right now, this is what we're working with. All right, I'm gonna work on this. I'll catch you once where something's happened. All right, guys, after what was a little bit of an arm, or what was a little bit of an upper body workout, we got what we wanted. Cute. I might add a couple more blueberries in just cause I love blueberries. Especially blueberry pancakes. It is time to cook them. So just get your nice little pan. We're gonna put some type of spray down. We're just gonna use some Pam. I don't really wanna use olive oil cause I don't want my pancakes to smell like olive or smell. Tastes like olive. Something I've seen people do is use measuring cups to put it in. So we're gonna see how this works. We have our, the concoction. My dough is quite thick. So we're gonna see what happens. Oh, it's like a little cookie. Oh. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get working. They're a little crisp. I think they're okay. The blue is making it a little bit hard to tell if it's still raw. We're gonna see. I'm just gonna quickly make the rest of these. And now, the finishing touches. And we have some blueberry syrup to go into. The next component of this meal we are gonna be working on is our smoothie, our blue smoothie. So we're gonna get everything we're gonna put the mix in. We have some collagen for extra protein. We're gonna put a little more satiating. This is gonna be a very 
an acai flavored smoothie. And we need our liquid. I'm gonna go with the fruity theme or continue it and use some coconut milk. Any smoothie, I try, always try to add fiber, protein. And those are the main two things and then like flavor. So the main fiber component will be coming from these berries. I'm gonna add just a couple in. Ah. I got these acai puree packets a while ago. There's a lot in this. Let's add it. We'll add it. I can figure out how to open it. There's gotta be an easier way to open this. Okay. I'm gonna throw this little guy in. Shove him in. Yeah. Very clinical. So we have our fiber. We're gonna add some protein. I like this because it doesn't have any flavor. I don't really love flavored protein powders. Nothing is sponsored, by the way. And lastly, we're gonna add our liquid. It'll make it all go together nicely. I recommend using frozen fruit because it makes it thicker. You can also add ice to thicken it as well. If you want a thinner smoothie, use like fresh fruit and more liquid. I'm gonna push this guy in. what happens when you add too much stuff to your smoothies. All right, we got it. We're gonna give it a good shake. We're gonna grind her up, we'll blend her up. We're gonna add our coloring. Just a couple drops. Typically people add spirulina to smoothies to make it blue, but I was not about to, one, I could not find it, two, that stuff is expensive. All right, it started to turn blue, but then the purple turned over, so we might need a second. So as you can see, the blue's kind of making this weird layer in this movie we're just going to add more food dye and see what happens so it's turning it more pink someone explain that we're gonna add a little bit more, see what happens, and then we might just have to have a purple smoothie. I saw it start to turn blue a little bit more. I'm not giving up hope. Something is happening. Someone who understands color theory explain it, but. All right, maybe this will be my last try. We'll see. It's turning it this like gray purple. I think I'm gonna stop because I'm nervous. I'm gonna turn it an ugly color. Let's put her into glasses. It tastes pretty good. Now we have our little smoothies.
All right, the next thing we'll be making is some blueberry jello. And this is gonna be fairly easy, but we're gonna dress it up a little bit. First, we're gonna start off with boiling one cup of water. Throw this little guy in. Gonna get our packet ready. And then once it's boiling, we're gonna add in our jello packet. And we're gonna mix until all of the sugar is dissolved. This will take about like two minutes. Then we're gonna add in a cup of cold water. And we're gonna take it off the heat. Or turn off the heat. Let it cool and then pour it into whatever container you want the jello in. Once your jello has cooled, put it in your container. I recommend cooling it because if you put something hot in the glass, it might explode, especially if you put it in a fridge. That was a little bit aggressive. And then into the fridge it goes. I'm recording all that. And I was actually proactive, which is crazy when it comes to cooking videos. And we have a jello already made, so let me show you that. But we have our little blue jello here and we're gonna make it ocean themed. So we have some little shark, we have some worms, and we're gonna make it like a rocky shore with these nerd clusters. And then of course for like the waves, we have our whipped cream. Okay, we're gonna make our little rocky shore. This is not gonna be a sandy beach. This is going to be a rock beach. You have these cute little clusters. Little focus. Okay. We're just gonna place these down. And we have our little shore, and then we have this nerd rope that we're gonna use for like where the wave meets the shore. Ready? These are my favorite. I could eat an ungodly amount of these. Just gonna make our little shore. Cute. We're gonna add a little bit more of the rocks. And then we're gonna make the wake of our waves. You kind of have to use your imagination. Like, it's abstract art, <laughs> you know? We're gonna pretend these look like eels and they're just hanging out. I don't think eels would ever come this close to the shore, but you know, this is not G zoologically correct. That's the name of the study of animals. Zoologically, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever said that word. Wait, isn't it? Wouldn't it be marine biologically correct? Or just biologically because it's a sea creature? Anyway, someone let me know. <laughs> Once again, our imagination. Okay, and then lastly, We have our little sharks that'll be swimming. Yay! So we have, oh, he's falling. This shark is attacking the land. We have our little ocean thing. Let me show you. This 
last one is more of an experiment. The idea of it kind of freaks me out, but we're gonna try it for science. So we're gonna make blue scrambled eggs. Once again, because I refuse to use big containers, we're using this. We're gonna add just a dash of milk. And this is when it gets wild. We're gonna do one just drop, one drop to start because I'm a little bit nervous. Oh yeah. You see that? Oh, let me show you. This just looks scary. Let's cook her. A little bit of olive oil. This is when champions are made. Just kidding. Okay. All right, let's see what she looks like. She's blue. Oh yeah, she's blue. Definitely blue. So the yellow from the yolk is making it a little bit green. It's not completely blue, but that's okay. Color theory. I realized I didn't even season these. You can just season them after. She's definitely blue. We have our blue eggs, our little ocean scene jello, our pancakes, and our smoothies. Wow. What? What a time to be alive. Let's get a final, final shot of this. This is a meal fit for our favorite demigod. Thank you for watching this video. This was so much fun to film. Obviously, I never really eat like this because I don't go out of my way to eat blue things, but it was just, this was definitely fun. Like this video if you want more content like this. We'll see what we could do with that. But thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. I think that's all I want to say. Also enjoy the Percy Jackson finale, I was reminded. Have the greatest time. Let me know what you think, because I will also be watching it. And there's a lot that will be left. There's a lot that needs to happen in this last episode, so it'll be interesting to how it all plays out. Hopefully the episode's like an hour long. But yeah. All right, bye. <laughs>